Welcome traders! It's a productive Thursday on December 22, 2022, and we are pleased to present the Rich Dad PH Daily Market Update, brought to us by the highly experienced Mr. Daniel Ang, the accidental trader. With over 35 years in the industry, Mr. Ang is a seasoned expert in the field of trading and is ready to share his insights with us. Let's take this opportunity to learn from his wealth of knowledge and use it to make informed decisions in the markets. Here's to a successful and lucrative day of trading. The global stock markets rose on Wednesday, as U.S. consumer confidence rebounded in December, and the dollar regained stability, after the Bank of Japan rocked markets with a surprise decision to loosen its grip on government bond yields. The United States consumer confidence rose to an eight-month high in December, as inflation retreated and the labor market remained strong, but fears of a recession persisted, resulting in fewer households planning to make big-ticket purchases over the next six months. Other data on Wednesday showed sales of previously owned homes falling for a tenth straight month in November, the longest such stretch since 1999. The economy is on recession watch as the Federal Reserve, which is in the midst of its fastest interest rate hiking cycle since the 1980s, wages war on inflation by trying to cool demand for everything from housing to labor. Wall Street's main stock indices rallied on Wednesday, with the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the S&P 500, and the Nasdaq Composite, all up between 1.4% and 1.6%. They were boosted by the conference board's improving U.S. Consumer Confidence Index. In Europe, shares more than recovered the previous day's 0.4% drop. On Tuesday, the Bank of Japan BOJ, widened its trading band for 10-year government bond yields from 25 basis points, either side of 0 to 50 bits per second. That pushed the Japanese yen to its biggest one-day gain against the US dollar in 24 years. The yen had fallen for most of 2022 because of Japan's low yields, as well as selling in the Japanese stock market and a sell-off for bonds around the world. The decision by the BOJ, the last dove of the major central banks, has added to concern among investors about how the impact of rising interest rates and persistent inflation will affect the global economy. On Tuesday, USDJPY plunged as much as 4%, its largest daily percentage fall since 1998. Overnight, USDJPY recovered about 0.5% to close at 132.47. Some of the major drivers of dollar overnight gains, an ever weaker yen, a struggling Chinese yuan and outsized rises in U.S. yields are starting to shift. EURUSD held steady at around 1.061, not far from last week's six-month high. In commodity markets, crude oil prices rose by nearly 3% last night after data suggested a larger-than-expected draw in U.S. crude stockpiles, but gains were capped by growing concerns over demand in China and a snowstorm that is expected to hit U.S. travel. Gold prices were little changed on Wednesday, holding above the key $1,800 level, as expectations of slower U.S. rate hikes lent support, but the rise in the dollar capped further gains. In cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin inched higher to close at $18,895.56, having earlier traded marginally above $17,600 in Asia. Ether gained 0.16% to US$1,213.78, according to CoinMarketCap. Dogecoin recovered somewhat after losing 1.91% to $0.0757. Twitter CEO Musk tweeted Wednesday that he will resign as CEO as soon as I find someone foolish enough to take the job after Twitter users voted to oust him as company chief. Cardano dropped 2.18% to fresh 2022 low at $0.2478, despite Cardano's developers recently rolling out a series of improvements aimed at scaling the blockchain network and decentralized applications built on it. Tron rose 1.08% to $0.05492, after Tron founder Justin Sun said to Bloomberg on Wednesday that China saw Hong Kong as a trial ground for crypto regulation. And before we say goodbye, we would like to invite you to join our Telegram channel. Simply search for Rich Dad PH and click join. To receive more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our Facebook page and follow us on TikTok. Overall, it was a productive day in the markets, with positive trends in stocks and commodities and some recovery in the cryptocurrency market. 
We hope that these insights have been helpful and we look forward to bringing you more updates in the future. Thank you for joining us and have a successful day in the markets. Have you ever felt that 2020 is a wasted year? For the last few months, we have been told that we need to reinvent ourselves by pivoting whatever we are doing to online. I have found that the last 20 years or so, this trend towards digitalization has actually enabled individuals like me to trip from practically anywhere in the world with just a laptop and an internet connection. My name is Daniel Ang and I've been trading financial markets for the last 35 years. COVID-19 has been very disruptive so far. But I found that the last few months has been my most productive yet. I spent the stay-at-home period to finally finish writing my book, The Accidental Trader. This goes to show that we have it in all of us to turn adversity into opportunity. Now, more than ever, we need new skill set to survive the coming years, if not decades. If I say the coming years will be very challenging, it is an understatement. COVID-19 is a wake-up call. There is no time to waste, now is the time. This book is available at all major bookstores and I encourage you to go grab a copy. If these books can be an inspiration to you, it would have achieved my objective. Remember, success is the formula, so is making money. First of all, welcome and thank you for joining us here today for our Wiki Finance Expo World 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, now we're officially announced that the Wiki Expo 2022 